Tonight, we tell a beloved ancient tale. It happened so long ago, no one knows for sure if it happened just this way. But for thousands of years and millions of people, this is a story full of beauty and meaning. And we tell it once again in this beloved community. I want to thank you for being here and our storytellers tonight, Hank Powers and Riley Epp, and also the many pageant participants for making the story come to life for us in a new way on this night. Our story begins. In those days, long, long ago, over 2000 years ago, a decree went out from the emperor, Caesar Augustus, that all the world should be registered so that they could pay taxes. All the people were required to go to the city or town where they had been born to register. For some people, that meant a long journey. Joseph, a carpenter by trade, had to go all the way from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David that was called Bethlehem. He went to be registered along with his beloved, Mary, who was expecting a child. The couple had to travel a long way, and they knew it would not be easy because the child they were expecting would be born very soon and it would be uncomfortable both walking and riding on their donkey for such a long journey. But there was nothing that could be done about it. They had to go. So they started on their way, traveling by day and sometimes through the dark nights which were lit only by stars. While the couple were in Bethlehem, the time came for the baby to be born, but there was no room in the inn, the only place with comfortable beds. The couple looked everywhere, but the only place they could find shelter was a stable behind the inn where the animals slept, a horse, a cow, chickens, and more. The animals welcomed the couple into the stable, and the animals were even kind enough to give up their, half, their hay-filled mangers so the baby could have a bed. Thus, the baby was born in a simple stable, surrounded by animals, and wrapped, in, and wrapped him up in bands of cloth and placed him in the manger. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep in the hay. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep in the hay. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the 
night sky look down where he lay the little lord jesus asleep in the hay in that region there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flocks of sheep suddenly there they were startled by a sight sight of a bright star in the night sky and they heard angels singing to them. While shepherds kept their watching Silent flocks by night Behold throughout the heavens There shone a holy light Go, tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go, tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around the shepherds, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I am bringer good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of angels, and the angels were saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace and goodwill among all people everywhere. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to Then the angels left the shepherds and seemed to go right up into the heavens. Angels, we have heard of our sweet shepherds 
said to one another, Let, Let us go, go now, now to, Bethlehem, to Bethlehem to see this thing, thing that has taken place that has been made known to us. So the shepherds went quickly to Bethlehem with their sheep, and there they found a holy family with the child laying in the manger, just as the angel had said it would be. Mary and Joseph couldn't take their eyes off the beautiful little baby, and the shepherds and the sheep and all the animals fell to their knees, giving thanks for the wonder of what they were seeing and what the angels had told them. What child is this The shepherds later told everyone what the angel had said to them about this newborn child, and everyone who heard their story was amazed. And the parents kept all these things and treasured them in their hearts. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, three wise persons who were kings from the Far East came to where Jesus was. They followed the star, sure it was guiding them to something wonderful. They had heard of a prophecy which had been spoken long ago, that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Where is the child who has born, been born King of the Jews? We have observed his star in the sky and come to praise him and get, bring him gifts. Ahead of them went the star that they had seen when it first appeared in the east. And the wise persons followed the star until it stopped over the stable where the newborn child was laying in the manger. When the wise persons saw where the star had led them, they were overwhelmed with joy and entered into the stable. There they saw the holy family, and they bowed down to honor them. And they opened their bags and brought out gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, which they had brought with them. Long, long ago and far, far away, a little baby was born. And in the quiet, still night, a silent, holy night, everyone was filled with wonder. Centuries later, on a snowy Christmas Eve in the Swiss Alps, a church musician wrote a song for his congregation to sing to help them remember the beauty of that long ago night when a baby was born. We invite you to sing this song now, and if you have a candle near you, to light it. You can light your candle now. This Christmas Eve, we are lighting candles and singing Silent Night 
in our homes. We hope that next year on Christmas Eve, we will once again be able to gather, to light candles and sing together in our sanctuary. For now, let us give thanks for this silent night, for this holy night. Thank you.